This weekend, the Swiss participated in a key referendum on cows. You heard that right. The vote was on whether cows and goats in Switzerland can be allowed to keep their horns. Turns out they can't. The Swiss voters decided against it. Here's what happened. Swiss cows have lost this round. Goats and cows in Switzerland will continue to be dehorned. That was decided in a nationwide referendum. The Swiss Federal Chancellery said 54.7% of voters opposed the measure while 45.3% cast ballots in favour of horned cow. Armin Kapoor was the champion of the animal rights cause. He refused to talk of defeat after the results became clear. The initiative to preserve the dignity of livestock led by Kapoor, who'd argued that cows with horns intact would improve their happiness and well-being. This had sparked a nationwide debate in Switzerland on animal rights following a campaign which began nine years ago. If his proposal had won, then farmers who chose not to dehorn their cows would get extra subsidies to cover additional associated costs. The supporters of the campaign likened the dehorning to castrating cats or dogs and argue it is a safety issue for other animals and farmers. I didn't even ask myself the question. A cow is made and is born with horns, so we need to stop cutting off their horns. It's the same for us. If I had a big ear and someone took it off, animal abuse is terrible. My grandfather was a farmer, we had cows with horns, there was never an accident. It's true that they want to cut them off for profitability because you can put more of them in the boxes. It's disgusting. However, the opposition camp says the measure would have cost as much as $30 million a year and would drain funds from other activities. I also voted against the initiative for the cows because I think horns endanger farmers and animals. People say we need to give them more space and not remove their horns, but they're still animals, so they'll fight among themselves and they can injure each other. And also it means farmers have to spend more money, and we know that they're quite poor in Switzerland. So if they have to build bigger enclosures, they might not be able to afford it. A country whose landscape is largely shaped by cow pastures, not only are cows an important economic entity, but used in marketing Swiss tourism and brands, also reflecting Swiss independence and military strength. However, the impact of the issue was more spectacle than substance. Three-fourths of cows raised in Switzerland don't have horns, and many are born naturally without them. Bureau report. Leon, world is one.